what do you think about that? <laughs> I think you're scared stiff, Desmond. <laughs> Tell me, what about you, Wilson? What would you do? I suppose. Good lord. Mr. Blackmore. Whore. What can I do for the FBI? All black everything. Who the fuck is this? Ew. He's deciding what I need. Alright, folks, I'm back for my short break. So let's get back to fucking protecting us playing Mr. Farnham the Texan. I own the ding dong casino and I have the biggest ding dong all of Southern Texas. <laughs> Well, casino or no casino, let's just hope he doesn't keep as many aces up his sleeve as a late Ventimiglia, huh? What the fuck is a Ventimiglia? Wearing brown boxes, weighing in at 396 pounds. Frank, show some respect, huh? That's the Devonny Tycoon. Polly. Polly. Tycoon? I just own a small bar with pool tables. Client street posted nothing to play even less, but certain business transactions just couldn't happen. Damn it, Paulie. Why don't I remember last night? Because they took it away from me. You have no idea how good my ex-wife's lawyer is. <laughs> oh, God. Women, they even take our damn names. Ha 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 like they have a show. sightseeing, why don't you drop by live one of them? I gotta be a moralistic, like Farnham. My clientele isn't crazy about fairy fellas such as yourself. Thanks. I love me some pool. Perfect. It'll be my pleasure. You're looking to start your own pool business, Farnham? This guy here. Uh, it just morphed. Guess who is turning to for advice? To be honest, several things got yeah. me worried. So I'd be much obliged for any counsel. So, what worries? Athletes hooking up. With Those there athletes hooking up with each other, like Al Stone, Helen Moore. I see you subscribe to what's news. Yeah. My Starbucks, the reigning champion, he's having an affair with America's sweetheart. Hey, I got nothing against those two idiots falling in love. Don't get me wrong, but taking a toll on his performance. I don't think he'll lose against you, but I'm stuck. Where are you? Billy, I'll bring out the burger. We're drying up here. I'll deal with a fresh deck, of course. Oh, we my. traditions in this establishment. Poker is as boring as it is simple. All you need to do is read people's faces. <laughs> oh, God. What in the hell is going on with that bottle? Play for when there's much more than just money. <sighs> Play the win. Damn it. What? Dad! I don't understand what's happening. One, Farnham. Mark my words, Farnham will be calling his wife before the night is over. Ha! Oh, hey, 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 by the way, did you guys hear about Kenny's wife? Pretty tragic, huh? What happened? Oh, plain bad luck. Hey, but Farnham, I'm, I'm sure you know more about it than I do. Kenny, oh, God damn it! Anyway, Kenny, thanks for fixing the game. Wait, the game is fixed, too. <laughs> God bless you, brother. <laughs> Craziest goddamn Texan in New York. Oh, God. What happened to his life? Poor fellas already got enough on his hands. Now that his wives. Women just gotta have their lives. She's on Quaaludes. Attention! 
trade for life. Don't tell me you want to go next to life. This is dope. Bring right. out the bourbon, Billy Bob. Billy Bob, Billy Bob, bring out those bourbon, you fucking bastard. <laughs> trying to slit my throat, you know you did. <laughs> Let's just say it's relatively simple. There's always someone ready to surprise you. Relatively simple. <laughs> well, I'll be damned. I don't believe this. What happened, Farnham? Beginner's luck doesn't last forever. And that's when the real champ comes in. What in the hell happened, though? Oh, it's just jumping without telling me. Poor Farnham. Damn, looking to make big bucks in the city with his boxing, and he's gonna lose it all with polka. <laughs> I hope your counseling will make up for it. Yeah, so how can I be of help? Homicidal boxers like Bobby Gale. Ha! That's some news, huh? <laughs> hey, I don't know if you did it, but the real problem is that the fight against my champ Stone might not even freaking happen. The good news is that I've almost convinced the government to let him out of prison on the day of the fight. Under police escort, that is. I bet you the audience gets a kick out hmm. of that. What about O'Leary? Compete with illegal gamblers like that O'Leary fella. Oh, huh. one would almost think that you live in New York, my friend. That son of a bitch killed one of my men and left the poor bastard on my head yeah. porch. But he's a goner now. Ever since the sport got put on TV, people want a fair game. Honest boxes and no shame business. <laughs> you can't break the law anymore like before. Jesus. Nowadays, they gotta bribe those big network executives to negotiate the broadcast. Come on, come on, let's steal another half of our quiz accusers. He I really wants Bobby to do the fight. Gentlemen, I suggest you never tell your sons about this. Shut the fuck Unless up, you asshole! Respect. Wait, you mean our sons actually respect us? <laughs> <laughs> There's no way to set boys straight these days. They don't even respond to a good old beating. Texan boy, I do respond. I dare say, Texan boy, do respond to a good beating. Hey, careful, Prince. You're talking to a pro. Well, uh, Kenny told me you had quite a house. How many kids you got in that house full of yours? Do not tell me try to fucking remember. It is stuck. No, that son of a bitch was about to choke on his own vomit. If I'd been a communist, perhaps the vision of a millionaire choking on his own vomit would have made my day. <laughs> Even yeah. so, I doubt I could have just stood there and watched him die. Yeah, because that would have been fucked if we just let him die in this metaverse. No, deserving or not, the man would live. Check his back pocket, family photo, black said. These assholes are just staring at us. Oh, wait, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Could have just let him die. Why the fuck would I do that? Ah. Jesus. Three, six. Six, what is something? I don't know how you deal with all of that. Oh, boys. Does it have to be now? Oh, never let Prince near one of you do this. Ew. Come on, Folly. Children are sacred. I that dude is a sick fuck. After that, well, <laughs> let's just say some men have needs that uh, can only be met by a young girl of that age. You're a sick <laughs> fuck. Are you alright, Farnham? Yeah, let's look at this sick fuck. That damn eagle represents the lowest scum of our society. Uh. There goes your winning streak, you sick bastard. Rat him out, because he's a sick fuck. Sooner or later, the police are going to bust your ass. Queens. 
the hell are you talking about? I bet Star you shit. bad at hiding those poor girls as you are keeping that ace up your sleeve. What? You lying piece of shit. Quince. Don't believe what he's saying, Frank. Yeah. Well, it's it's glitching through your fucking collar. Yes. <laughs> or cuffs. <laughs> Don't you dare call me Frank, you fucker. Billy Bob. Fuck him, Billy Bob. Fuck him with that shotgun. Hundred more. <laughs> Washing up. Fuck him, Billy Bob. Thank you! We killed a sick fuck, and I am happy about it! I owe you. Please, take that flying scumbag's coat. You're mine too, if you want. Quince prosecuted the girls. Hey, turns out the governor accepted my suggestion to let Bobby yell out of prison. They fight. Thank you! We killed a sick fuck today, and that made this entire fucking situation worth it. If you decide to go ahead with your new venture, His feathers on the table. Last night's game was utterly insulting. Never contact me again. I'll put an end to your pathetic life. If our common acquaintance should ask you about your business endeavors, tell him that boxing is too popular for me. Son of Frank Castle. If you're, I wonder what would happen if I just left them there to die. People would be like, where are you going Oh, yeah. Black said, please. Dear Mr. Kiss, well, I'm grateful for your kind help. Last night's game made me realize that boxing is just too violent. A peaceful taxi like myself. I have decided to invest elsewhere. Yours sincerely, Howard M. Farnham II. Damn Texans. <laughs> uh, uh, <I> <laughs> I'm happy that we at least got to kill one sick fuck in this entire game. That made that entire, like, first, what? Four fucking hours of this game worth it? Post traumatic stress. For me, it was the first time in days that I had gone to bed without my day. <laughs> Nothing like a bruised body to help you to sleep like a baby. <laughs> you fuck! Deserved it! Maybe I should have given myself a deal. <laughs> Sonia, Jesus Christ, you look fucking ridiculous. That's the phone call. Good lord. Still, who murdered Joe? Black side. 14 days until the fight, and then that's Sonya calling me to go to the fucking gym. That goddamn purgatory in this fucking game because I'm sick and tired of going to that damn gym. Something better have happened, Sonya. I fucking kid you not. If you have me waste my goddamn time, if she, like, people, if she wastes my time coming here. Someone ransacked the place. It was like this when I got here. When did you get here? When did you get here? I've been calling you for over an hour. Calm down. I'll take care of this. 
Had you already finished looking through these papers? I wish. Well, I guess you'll enjoy sorting all this again. They cracked open the safe. Not that I suspected otherwise, but it's obvious they weren't looking for money. Mm -hmm. Looks like the burglar isn't interested in bureaucracy. Did they take anything? No. Although the gun! Oh, wait, you had it. Did you get the gun back? When you went in the hospital room to get your purse, did you get the gun as well? Yes. Isn't it there? I put it back. I'd rather not go through that again. You're... <sighs> That's too bad. It looks like they took it. Okay, I think I at least convinced Sonia. Maybe she'll, uh, you know, save our life later with the gun. Like, shoot Jake in a fucking mouth or something. That's, that's the dream. <laughs> Someone's footprint. What is it? Nothing. Just a freshly signed contract. Junk. What is that? What are you doing? Do you like sardines? Excuse me? Do you like sardines? Ugh. Uh. <laughs> Do you like sardines? <laughs> I'll take that as a no, Sonia. Oh, we gave you two deductions now. Let's do it. Okay, so. This one? Uh, and these three? No? Also, what about these two? That's one. Uh, they didn't have anything to do it's with this shit. That Helen Moore's cigarette case was a gift from O'Leary. That's still love, of course. There's still more deductions. Oh, wait. This, this, oh wait, I, I chose the wrong one. It is actually this one, and I think is, is it dumb as to punch the paint can? No. It's a Lily. This one. I mean, we're just deducing that shit. Why does she claim she hates him? What is she hiding? Let me ask Sonya. Maybe she has more info. What the fuck is going on? Can I just talk to you? Oh wait, your purse. Is this yours? No, I think it belongs to the new cleaning lady. Mary just wasn't working out, so she left. Clarice Freeman? Yes. You think she did this? She's probably dead. <laughs> wait, 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 whoa, 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 what is this? Hmm. Saw something. She ran out on the roof. She panicked. Oh yes. Red, don't tell me we're gonna find a body up here for Christ's sake. New deduction.
See, look, it's who is dying for a print? I know it's not him because the shoes don't match. But the shoes sold to the match. The footprints don't oh. match. Or if a oh, okay. Done, he did it without stepping in the paint or in different shoes. I was about to say because the soles didn't match. Every soles don't match the footprints at the gym. Is there going to be another deduction? Oh, no. I got all the deductions uh, from right there. Okay. Let's go up to the roof. Lord, I am not liking this. Sonia, you probably got this new lady killed. Oh, God. What the fuck? Yep. Jesus Christ. <laughs> she was just sliced in the back. Look at that wound. Could be a knife wound. The murder was brutal. Yeah, like you can one can say that completely fucking escalated. Ah, oh, damn. She was a mother, two daughters. Guess the last thing she did was. Pull out the photos. I can just picture her saying, Honey, I found a job. I'm finally going to make ends meet. All right. So, eh. Stain right there. Hmm. All right. That was a hard ass stab with a fucking little ass switchblade, and then you had to like tear it down to cause a wound like that. Jesus Christ! Must have punctured her lungs, filled with blood, probably drowned on it. It's like, oh God. At least Mary didn't die, cause we told her. Cause wouldn't this have been Mary? Oh, okay. Don't look, Sonia. I want you to call the police, Sonia. <laughs> to a friend's house. When you can think about going home and definitely don't come back here. I'm I'm staying in a friend's house. I haven't even set foot in my father's place yet. Jesus Christ. Oh! She's dead! Do you have the keys? If the murderer didn't find what he was looking for, that might be his next stop, if he hasn't been there yet. You're really being casual about this whole murder situation, Black Sand. Oh, she's dead. I mean, shit happens. <laughs> Good lord. But once I had the keys to the hmm. place, which meant I wouldn't have to use my lock picks or... I mess with you, someone's in there. <laughs> fuck it. Break it down. Um, Break it down. Do not give no fucks. Damn man! Break it the fuck down! But wait, if it was locked on the inside, someone has to still be here. Yeah, look. It doesn't look like anyone picked the lock. Yeah, so someone who's here has the key. I wonder if it's like... Mary? I see more art in a boxer's hypnotizing footwork. Than in certain modern paintings. Thank you. Oh, put on some music, of course. Black Fantasy.
Little hand Fletcher. Oh, yeah. Look at that. The guy sure had good taste. I think that was another reference to one of the fucking books. Hey, look, someone tried to break into the sofa. They were looking for something. Wait, that's not interesting? It looks like Dunn had already begun to move his things. Yeah, daddy -o. Dunn? Thorpe? Thorpe? Hmm. No idea. And these two, they look familiar. I'm guessing the lizard's dock? Anything else? No. It's hard to believe that a pair of boxing fists could play something like this, although I'm sure you have the lungs for it. Interesting. So, Yu Gi Oh card. Oh, let's see how many Yu Gi Oh cards I've picked up so far in this playthrough. Yeah. Oh, there are different ones for every. Damn, there are apparently a shit ton of fucking cards in here. I haven't even found half of them. As I glanced at the telephone, I remembered the weekly password for O'Leary's illegal gambling operation. Even though I had rejected his reward for finding Yale, I had managed to make my own dirty money by ratting out the Eagle Pimp during our poker game. <laughs> How much damage could a small bet do? Why? What harm could I do? Only the invisible type. Yeah, why? Uh, no, no. I, I was like, why the hell would I make a fucking bet? Like, I already got money on, like, Bobby. I thought of you, Finn. The follower of baseball. Quiet lion. John Waters. I seem to recall Dunn being mad about the pictures. But who knows? Oh, it's damn. Such as I say, she wasn't done blooming in yet. That's a Sonya's bullshit. Ready made meals on airplane trays in front of the TV. Who would have? Thought we'd end up eating like this. Shut up, Black Said. Stop being marveled by modern conveniences. Alright, so. Obviously, it's somewhere that's been here. Sardines! Sardines. It's been open for a few hours. Yeah, a pervert has been here. course. Now I see how Dunn bought the apartment he was going to share with Mary. This place has to be empty in two weeks for the new owners. I wonder if Sonia knows about this. Dunn was going to move in with Mary. Oh, another Yu-Gi-Oh card. Alright, let's do something. Sardines! And this one, the tissue smells like sardine. Someone really likes sardines. It's pretty clear that the burglar came by the house before heading to the gym, which means he probably didn't find what he was looking for in here. Can we look at that photo? Still look at her every morning, so many years later, with a new love. Maybe we don't need to forget. Maybe pain just transforms into, I don't know, something. <laughs> How romantic Black said. Hmm, a black book. What conspiracies lay in here, Black said? It's, it's about the place where where our love was brought. Oh, his little proposal thing to marry. Wow. 
That it. You got a comment? Not really. It wasn't like he was fucking perving on her or anything. Girl's best dad on Father's Day, son. Oh! That is an awfully good drawing. <laughs> he still loved his little girl. Another empty closet. Yeah, but someone obviously came in here and fucked everything up. Do something else. Hello, Guardian. Hebrew. Whoever did this broke the. Wait, 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 wait. Something's missing right here. Are you going to comment on that? Or. I guess not. Oh, wait. Elaine. I think that was Dunn's wife's name, according to Jake. A picture of a tree painted by his wife. I suppose. Anything in the potty? Wow. Could Dunn really afford such luxuries? Or did he only want to impress Mary? Who knows? He was all head over heels for her. What the fuck? Masculinity starts at work. You're not gonna comment on that? Like, oh. Seems that Joe was seriously trying to get his game up <laughs> with Mary. Alright, so let's check this back room here. Wait, this is a side room? Mm, nope. Just a shitter. Wow, he's fancy. He had two bathrooms in this small apartment. The hell is this? Could this be the origin of Sonya's interest in business? Oh, this is her room. I was about to say, Joe was probably a sick fuck if he has. <laughs> I need to stop using that term. Frank Papalia. One of the very few teen idols who only got better with age. Under your skin. Oh, you get it? Like, under the skin. What's this doing here? Spin those gloves. No matter how hard I look, I'm not getting anywhere. I need to talk with Sonya, and maybe with her uncle, Tim. Oh, that was just abrupt. Uh... <laughs> oh, here we go. I know everyone in this fucking photo, Black Sand. It brings back. I don't know. Good memories? An optimist, are we? It's like remembering the last day of summer. Scenes full of joy, picturesque landscapes, and yet the light is faint and the air is still. Interesting. Calm before the storm. Now this one is pure niceness. 